Let us picture for a moment the common grain of wheat. It appears lifeless, yet we know that within that hard outer shell is a gem of life waiting to come forth. And we also know that the only way this life can be brought out is by placing the seed in the darkness of the earth. And silently, life springs forward and produces much fruit. In that gospel that we all just listened to, St. John tied this theme of the seed dying to that of Jesus' hour, the moment to which Jesus' whole life had been directed. And this moment was not the result of any event or force. It was an hour over which Jesus had absolute control. It was his hour, the hour when the grain of wheat, Jesus would die and bear much fruit. And Jesus was the seed, and his hour was the time of his passion, death, and resurrection. And without Jesus' death, there could be no fruit. You know, the key to our bearing fruit is to recognize that as believers, we have died with Jesus and will rise with him. And the Holy Spirit will reveal this truth to all of us as we put to death our selfishness, our pride, our fears and resentments, which could stand in the way of our life in Christ. And as we do, we will see new life spring forward from death. And that is why Jesus spoke of us as following him. It's a following that involves embracing Jesus' life and his character. Today, as Father Burke said at the beginning of the Mass, the church also celebrates the Feast of St. Lawrence, deacon and martyr. St. Lawrence embraced Jesus' life and knew that his ultimate goal was heaven. His faith allowed him to courageously surrender his life in this world rather than risk losing eternal life in heaven. In that first reading that Daniel read for us, St. Paul reminded us that God loves a cheerful giver. And St. Lawrence showed his cheerfulness right to the very end. As it is told in folklore that while he was being martyred, while he was being grilled to death, he cheerfully told his torturers, you can turn me over now, I'm done on that side. So like St. Lawrence, let us always be mindful of our ultimate goal and whatever challenges come our way. May we meet those challenges with the smile of St. Lawrence. <laughs>